السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليكم شيخ السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته everyone welcome welcome this is brother Habib Rasul Miller I'm filling in سيدي أمني السلام عليكم يرجى الليل أو عندما يرجى السفر أنت كين الحمد لله I was just welcoming everyone and going to introduce you to the Listen, we just have a bit of a problem with the with the with the sound system. Give me a second to work on it. Assalamu alaikum, Haji Amir. Surat al-Ladina namta alayhim, ghayr al-mahdubi alayhim al-dhamin. Amin. Alhamdulillah. Uh, welcome to another uh, session of Ruhu Adab. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Just very briefly, as we have uh, Sheikh here right now, so we won't uh, waste any time, but this is brought to you by the Ruhu Adab group. It's an online group engaging in community dhikr, community Quran recitation, and philanthropy, as well as hadiyah for our Sheikh. You can join a Ruhu Adab group, a Ruhu Adab, emailing Ruhu Adab group at gmail.com. Also, this is brought to you by Nesro M, a <coughs> soccer organization oh, 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 uh, around the country, America, it's founded in America and also abroad, especially in Africa. And also they are engaging in spreading knowledge uh, by bringing the sheikhs here to America for us to make ziyara to them, to visit them for benefit. Uh, Oh, last but not least, uh, Fader Books, Fader Books, uh, the, the publishing company that has published this Ruhu Adab text that we are uh, taking from, which is a great poem, a foundational poem and text written by Sheikh Ibrahim and Yas, Sheikh Al Islam Ibrahim and Yas, Radi Allahu An, in 1920, uh, a, a, that is advice to the people of the path and all human beings in truth. And it was translated by Sheikh Hassan Sise, Radi Allahu Anhu, his inheritor. And now we uh, it's translated and commentary by him. And now we are uh, privileged and honored and blessed to have the um, to take commentary from the inheritor of Sheikh Hassan Sise, Sheikh Muhammadu Mahi Sise. Uh, and so we, uh, without further ado, I don't want to take any more time. As I know Sheikh's time is very precious. Um, but as all of you know, who have been on the class and all of you who are Murids of Sheikh Ma'isi said, 
he has um, uh, completed uh, the, the studies in Quran in a very young age, and then Azhar with a master's degree, and the uh, African American Islamic Institute, and being the president of that, and has been traveling around the world, spreading the word of Allah Ta'ala, and spreading the fada of Shaykh Matijani, Sheikh Ibrahim and Yas, radiallahu anhu. Um, and so without further ado, we'll uh, uh, open the floor for Sheikh. Sheikh, are you ready? Oh, it looks like it's frozen for a minute. Alhamdulillah. Uh, well, the good news about um, it's stalling for a second is that uh, I can mention just while we're waiting for the um, the video to pick back up. Alhamdulillah. Uh, personally, uh, what Sheikh Mahi means to me and his ruhu adab means to a murid uh, like myself. So some of you may be younger on the path than, than myself, and some of you, uh, probably most of you, have been on the path longer than I have. And so I'm just going to share, in short, Sheikh Mahi taught me how to say Allah and mean it. Although I'm Alhamdulillah, wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sheikh. How are you? Alhamdulillah, very good. Alhamdulillah, Sheikh. We're very happy to see you. Thank you for coming to, to be with us uh, to be with us this afternoon. Alhamdulillah. Are you in Medina? Yes, I'm in Medina. Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much. Yes, we're ready for you, Sheikh. Okay, hold on. Somebody's going to take it. Sorry, sir. Good to see you. 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 I don't know the Tianchi Chef Tian and Little Lions. No, uh, I think I was just giving a short introduction for you, um, but mashallah, that there is the greatest introduction for you, alhamdulillah. And uh, mm -hmm. this, uh, this faith, we thank you so much for your labor, uh, for your work, and for your love, and for your care. Alhamdulillah, see you. Alhamdulillah. Salatu salam ala Rasulillah. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin. Ibn Khatimi lima sabak. 
ناصر الحق بالحق فنادي إلى صلاة المستقيم وعلى آله حق قدر ومقدار العظيم رضي الله تعالى مع أصحاب رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم لا يموت الشيخ أحضري لنا بهذا المحضري لتعطيه بنظرة تأتي لنا بغضري بعد المدد أخرى الحضرات السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله ويا Again, it's the Dars of Ruh Al-Adab. Wa nasih al-ikhwana wa smut sahibi ala al-muru'ati min al-aqaridi. He said, advice, give advice with sincerity. to the brothers and you take advice from them also. Wal asri illa l-insan la fi khus illa l-lazina amanu wa amilu salihati tawasaw bil haqqi wa tawasaw bil sabr. Allah said in this surah, the shortest surah, but if you use what the advice, the advice you get from this surah, you can be saved. Iman Billah, believe in Allah and do good and it is mean the farida, the obligation and the nafila and advise each other and be patient. Advise each other with truth. That's why the Sahaba, whenever they meet, they used to read this surah to remind each other that this is the way to be safe from being among those who, who lost in this life. Allah swears on Prophet's time is the best time or on Prophet's life to declare that indeed all the human beings are losers, except those who believe in Allah Taala. Illa ladina aman wa amilu salihat. So it's, it's iman. It's good, but it's just iman is not enough. But the action of iman is to do good. When we say good, it's not what you think from your mind that is good but what Allah to through Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that is the fara'it and the sunnah the fara'it and the nawafil and to advise each other with truth tawasaw bil haq tawasaw bil sab and advise each other to have patience because you need to have patience to be with your brothers and your sisters. You need to have patience to wake up in the night to pray. You need patience even to wake up early in the morning to go for work. You need patience even to forgive your brother when they have mistakes. You need patience to avoid the bad things that is lawful for your nafs, you need patience to cross the way that the nafs doesn't like, but it's good for you. So you advise each other. And he said, what's smooth? Be quiet. Unless when it needs, because من كان يؤمن بالله واليوم الآخر فليقل خيرا أو ليصمت. Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, whoever believe in Allah on the last day, speak when you speak, 
say good or be quiet. So whenever you show that what you're going to say is no good, it's better for you to be quiet. The Arabs, they said, إِذَا كَانَ الْكَلَامُ مِنَ الْفِضَّةِ فَالسُّكُوتُ مِنَ الزِّهَبِ They say, if it's, it's the speaking, if it's silver, being quiet is, is a gold. Like, be quiet is better. Unless if you know that you have to talk. When you have to talk, also you need to talk. Because when it's time to talk, to tell the truth, it's like shaitan has cannot said the truth. They say Luqman al-Hakim, you know him, is a wise. They send him one day to the, to the market. They ask him to go to the market and buy the best pieces from like the animals and he buy the tanks. They ask him again to buy the horses piece and he buy the tank also. So from the tanks, tank is very strong because it work for something for true and lies. It can work for something that be here and and something never happen, and even can talk about something will never happen. So that is why it's very strong. That's why you need to be quiet. Man kan yumin billahi wal yawm al-akhir fal yukrim jarahu. Man kan yumin billahi wal yawm al-akhir fal yukrim daifa. Man kan yumin billahi wal yawm al-akhir whoever believes in Allah Taala, he have to tell the truth or be quiet. If you believe in Allah, on the last day, you treat your your yes in the nice way. Treat is never in a good way, nice way. So the earlier they said. بيت الولاية شيدت أركانها ساداتنا فيه من الأبدال ما بين صمت واعتدال دائم والجوع والسهر النذيه الغالي لا تطمع فيها فلست من عليها He said the house of ولاية He described Wilaya, just imagine Wilaya like a room. And he said that room was built with four pillars. And he said the master of that room, they are the Abdal, you know, among the awliya, there's a part they call them Abdal. There is Budala, there's, there's Abdal, Abdal, they are the part of the awliya that you can see them even in the place that they are not there. But he said, the characters of this Abdal is this, to be quiet and to be alone and to, to use to be hungry, empty your estimate. And to stay the night, like making salat and making zikr. And the, the shahari, he said, don't wish to be among them if you don't compete with them in these characters. So if you want to be among some people, you have to compete with them in their characters. Like you need money, you have to go work like the people who have the money. Do some business, have to be serious with this and show that you really need what you're asking. So 
So he said, if you want to be among the awliya also, you need, practically, if you want to be among the abdal, you need something to, to be quiet, except when it's necessary to talk. Allah said, La khaira fi kasirin min najwahum illa man amara bi sadaqatim aw ma'arufin aw islahin bin nas. The people, their conversation, their meeting, most of of it is, is not useful, it's not beneficial for advice, we give advice to give sadaqah or to do good for people or to bring peace, to bring two people together with peace. Some people, brothers and sisters who fight each other, you help them to come together with peace and you know love each other. So, Sheikh Rahim Radalano, he said in Tafsir, he said, the enemy has, are four enemies your nafs and the dunya, the, world, the worldly affair, and shaitan, and how are your desires? If you want to fight this, each one you have an arm that you have to use to fight it. If you want to fight nafs, nafs, let it be hungry. Because when is your stomach full, you're ready to do everything. You're ready to fight, you're ready to sleep, you're ready to do all wrong things. But if you're hungry, you don't have you know, power to do anything. Maybe you'll be quiet. Look to the people when they, many people when they pass, they don't have time to do, even to, 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 to argue with people. Some people when they pass, they don't have time to do anything because that's the tarbiyah of you know, being hungry. He said, when Allah created intellect, he asked intellect about himself. Whom, I, whom am, I, I, am I? The apple of the intellect said, you are my Lord, I'm your servant. But when he asked the nafs, he said, you are you, I am I. Like he put himself with Allah in the same degrees. Then Allah said, put him in the jail. They put him in the jail a long time, it come out. Allah asked him, he, he, he give the same answer. You are you, am I? And he said, okay, make him hungry. Don't give him food. When he's hungry, Allah asked him, he said, I'm your servant and you are my Lord. So that is the way can make tarbiyah education for the nafs to come back and know that is the Lord is Allah and him is just servant of Allah Taala. He said, so the, the jail for the nafs is, to, uh, is angry. The jail for dunya is to meet people. When you reduce meeting people, that will help you. Of course, that is if you, in your way in Tarbia, in your way to educate yourself. But if you complete, you need to meet people. He said, العزلتو لا أفضل منها إلا إذا كنت مفيدا أو مستفيدا مرادا أو مريدا. He said to be alone, conclude. There is nothing better than better than it, except if you benefit people or people benefiting you. Or you are murid or you murad. You are murid who need a sheikh or you are murad that your murid need you.
I remember one time I asked her to make khalwa. He says, okay, I do khalwa three days. But after the, when I finished, he said, people, they need you for knowledge. They need you for this. And you let them and go to khalwa. That is no good. Maybe if you travel somewhere, because Sayyid Ali, he asked Sheikh Ibrahim one time permission to make khalwa. He said, you don't need to make khalwa and you will get all you need without khalwa. He said, the same way they give Sayyid Ali, the same way they give you, so you don't need this. But sometimes if you make sure that you don't benefit people or they don't benefit you, or you, you are somebody who needs Sheikh to meet the Sheikh or the Murid, they need you. He said, except in this condition, nothing better than Halwa. So the jail of the dunya is to meet, to reduce meeting people. The power that you need to fight shaitan is to be quiet because the power of shaitan is speak. Whenever you see people fighting, they start, they start talking, then they fight after that. So from here, you, you take the wanas hil ikhwana wasmut, advise each other with the brothers and be quiet and go with the good people from your your relation your your relative so you have to choose good friend among your relative because almaru fi dini qarini alhamim in salihan wa salihin wa inbihi he said the man, a man is in the religion of his close friends if your friend is good you come you, you be good if it's not you will be the same if it's if it's if it's down until he be like the animal you can act like things so that's very good you have good friends because that will help you to to do good things because if you need to fight shaitan even with your friend you have more power to fight even if you making zikr to fight shaitan maybe you're alone sometimes you are not strong enough to fight but with all the brothers making zikr together that will help you to change even your heart so that's why to have good friend is very good for the murid and you see that in hadith prophet sallallahu alaihi said masalu by Miskin Wanaf Hakir, Mesalu Jalis Saleh. He said, the good companions is, is like somebody who is selling perfume or somebody firing the air irons. If somebody selling perfume, you can't buy from him or he will give you even gift. You have nice order from him. But if you close to somebody firing the iron, can even fire your claws or dirty your claws. Good friend is like like this. The other enemy is Hawa, your desires, but your power against the desires. We said, it's Sahar, you stay night. But when we stay, when the Salihin say stay night without sleeping, they don't mean just stay night without sleeping because you can use your time for nothing. But if you stay the night without sleeping, when the Salihin say that, you do it praying, you do it making zikr, you do it reading something that can be part of ibadah because if you read Quran, it's ibadah. If you read good books that advise reading Hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. All this it will help you on your way going to Allah wa Taala. So uh, this is the characters of Abdal. If you want to be among them, you compete with with the same, you know, 
characters and you walk to the same way that they're walking, you can catch them before the end or you reach to them when they get to the end, even after, after a while. You have to remember the scales and know that your good deed and your bad deed, they will balance it one day. So make sure that your good deed will be more. Natural soft, make sure that the last day they will give you the books that all you did inside. You can't deny when you do something. Remember the hellfire, you know, the sadness in hellfire. If you remember that, you will avoid that. Remember the good things in paradise, beautiful virgin woman and the nice houses. You remember all this, so that will help you to, you know, to against the nafs and to follow what Allah Taala ask you to do. Dum al mukafiratism be stay using the azkar that will make kafara, make Allah to forgive your sins. He said, strongest one among these, Salatu has al Qutbi, like Salat al Fatihi, is a, among the is the strongest things among the things that can uh, allow forgive your sins when you use it. And he mentioned Musabat al Ashr. Musabat al Ashr is one of the azkar in the tariqa. They say it's from Khadir Ali Salam. It's tahsin, it's protection, it's good for protection, but it's good also for uh, forgiveness, for Allah to forgive your sins. It's, uh, it's 10. Some of it is surah, some of it is dua. They read it seven times, that's why they call it musabbat rash. 10 things that you read seven times. First of it is fatiha and the uh, nas and falak and ikhlas the kafirun and ayat al kursi. Then subhanallah alhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wa la akbar wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah ali al azim adza ma alim wa mil'a ma alim wa zimta ma alim. Then Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa nabiyika wa rasulika al nabiyya al ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Then Allahumma ghfirli wa li walidayya wa lil mu'minin wa al-mu'minati wa al-muslimin wa al-muslimati wa ahyai min wa al-awwal. Then اللهم افعل به وبهم عاجلا واجلا في الدين والدنيا والآخرة ما أنت له أهل ولا تفعل بنا وبهم يا مولانا ما نحن له أهل إنك غفور رحيم جواد كريم رؤوف رحيم you read this each one seven times if you go to أحذاب الأراد you will find it so whoever can have it among you I give you permission to use it you can use it for protection you can use, use it Ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for forgiveness. Subhanahu wa Masa, morning and evening. Hikayat al Azan. When they call Azan, you call. You repeat it, the word of Azan. You know to follow. That also is a part of mukafirat. Mukafirat to them will Allah will forgive your sins because of that. Many of zikr. Atatil mazhabi. Which means the Tariqa Tijaniya, many zikri come in this way. Salatuna ala Rafail Mamsibi, make salat on Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to have highest Salatu Tisbihin. Also, the Foraka, you read some of it, some Riwaya, they bring it this Fatiha, some Riwaya is our Fatiha, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. 15 times in the, in, when, you, when you stand up, when you go to Ruko, 10 times you come from the Ruko, 10 times you make Sujur, 10 times you come from the Sujur, 10 times. That's what you do in each Raka. Also, it's among the Mukafirat in as you see it from the Hadith of Rasulullah.
تسبيح يعني تسبيح سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا اله الا الله سبحان الله وبحمده 110 or so you have in hadith tadabbur alquran you read quran and you know think about the meaning of quran to raka any time kufia naql alkhuta ila almasajid like you step to the to the mosque allah will forgive your sin from that you kafir alkhata will forgive the you know mistakes also isbagh alwudu you know uh, make wudu oblation in the best time you have it in hadith we read that in the verse of the the lessons that even wash your nerf three time when you wake up only that without wudu will forgive your sins so if you do it with wudu also allow it for your sins wa qudi a'ma also help a blind man to get his way kada qada wa hajatin zidi help anybody to help him for his need all this will forgive his sins thinking about allah is mean about his sifat and his names shake hand to your brothers also will forgive the sins because in the hadith that if you shake hand with your brother and smile in front of him allah will forgive your sin like you you you, you take your stick on the the leaf of the tree how the leaf coming down your sin will come down like that when you greet your brothers so all this we can use it for forgiveness because you go into allah tabarak wa taala you need to empty your your heart from anything and empty your records from the bad things and forgiveness will empty will clean you will clean your heart like you want to clean your your clothes you wash it you want to clean yourself you wash yourself with zikrullah mention allah tabarak wa taala but with uh, salat ala nabi with all this type of mukaf mala forgive all our sins mala accept for us and for you all our good deeds mala make it easy for you for all of us اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم وخاتم لما سبق ناصر الحق بالحق ولا هادي الى صراطك المستقيم وعلى اله حق بالاقدار العظيم صراط تفتح لنا باب الرضا والتيسير وتغلق بنا باب الشر والتعصير تكوننا بها ولينا نصيرا انت ولينا مولانا انا مولانا ونا من نصير سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم امين اللهم امين اللهم امين نعم Thank you so much Sheikh Alhamdulillah. Barakallah fi barakallah fi. Alhamdulillah we benefit so much and we know your time is very valuable. Uh I just wanted to 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 field a few questions before you are uh, before you go. Um uh well one before we forget um for you to do our tariqa um Bismillah. Uh, no for your brother Sheikh Ahmed Tian Imam. Uh, we have another question for any special dua for the start of safar there is no there is no special dua for starting safar mm-hmm. that we have some dua for, for the end of the arba and uh, the last wednesday of safar there is the dua that shah ahmed tijani he come from shah ahmed tijani to use it in gazali and even here in medina you make the four raka ishra ka fatiha wan ikhlas the kawsara 17 ikhlas 5 falak an nas each one then after salam you read wallahu ghalibun 
على أمره ولكن أكثر الناس لا يعلمون read that ayah from surah to yusuf uh, 360 then you read jawharat al-kamal three times then you end it with subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamu ala al-muslimin wa alhamdulillah rabbil alamin you do that in the last wednesday of safar allah will protect you from all bad things that will come in that day for all the year Uh, Sheikh, as far as uh, in this time that we're uh, distant from each other, the bodies are distant, but alhamdulillah, Allah has allowed us to come together via even this class as a representative of this. And uh, is there any other things to, to keep the, the closeness of the murid with the Sheikh um, in this time? Any uh, other things that can bring more closeness for someone who feels far away? Yeah, follow, 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 follow. Follow the way of the Sheikh and follow the Dio Azkar and the Salawat at the time. Yes. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, uh, we, won't take, we won't take up too much more of your time, Sheikh. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sheikh. Jazakallah khair. Barakallah. Shukran jazeem. We look forward to next week. Allah bless you. Thank you, Sheikh. Barakallah. Shukran. Ah. Alhamdulillah. So uh, this concludes uh, another session of Uruhu Adab. We're taking with Sheikh Mahi. Great um, benefit um, and privilege that we have. Uh, so much so that we have to be careful because uh, uh, this can incline us to being spoiled. You know, being able to engage see a Sheikh like this, uh, how often and how easy it is, and sitting in your room and learning from the sacred text and getting the, the, the sacred divine advice from your sheikh is, is uh, maybe for us, this feels like it's normal, but it's not normal. It's not normal in the history of the human being. It's not even normal for many other people in this time. People that have been in a tariqa for however many years, it is, this isn't normal. So um, we're, we're grateful to Allah. And the only thing that prevents us from being spoiled is to be very grateful to Allah. And so uh, we try our best, although we can't keep up, but, the very, but not at the least, but Allah gave us the word, alhamdulillah. So we have to use the word, alhamdulillah, to, uh, to thank Allah for this. And also that we benefit from the advice from the Sheikh. And that's another way for us to be grateful uh, for this not to be for nothing, for this not to be a waste of his time. Um, but that he is watering us as seeds and as murids, and then we grow and we start to bear fruit. And in the fruit, we have more seeds where more people can benefit from, inshallah ta'ala, and that's what we hope to do. And this is the objective of Ruhu Adab, the objective of Nasr al the objective of Faith of Books, alhamdulillah, and I pray the objective of all the people who are here on the Zoom or people that are seeing this broadcast uh, on YouTube or any other place. May Allah bless you. May Allah forgive us. May Allah help us. Don't forget to pray for Sheikh Mahi and don't forget to uh, to to uh, give Hadiyah as an expression of that love and that gratitude. And it's a great wiper of sins. Alhamdulillah. It's a great wiper of sins as well of, of, of the things that, that Sheikh Mahi mentioned. Um, may Allah help us in, in strength. Alhamdulillah. All right. I'm just going to read something that just came from, from Om Aisha. Uh, it's kind of a long statement, but I'm going to read it <coughs> out loud. <clears throat> Although I haven't read it, I'm going to be reading it for the first time right now. Uh, she says, Assalamu alaikum family. Many great awliya have mentioned that an immense number of bala or calamities descend upon mankind on the last Wednesday of this month of Safar. Uh, yeah, she's talking about the last Wednesday of Safar, which Sheikh Mahi was mentioning. Our master Sayyidina Ahmed Tijani radiallahu anh, has confirmed this. There's also special salat that Sayyidina Sheikh would perform on this Wednesday to ward off these calamities as mentioned by Sidi Suhairaj and uh, in the Janaya Tel Muntasib. I'm not familiar with that text. This Salah has been practiced by the Sheikh's descendants and by the special ones in his Tariqa for generations. Um, and uh, it talks about the permissions and the advice that for Sheikh Ibrahim and Sheikh Hassan to advise us to make this prayer. And a prayer is what was described there, but we will post the prayer, the complete instructions for the prayer, because if you've never heard of it before, I'm sure it was difficult to, to absorb what Sheikh was saying and to remember it. 
So without fail, inshallah ta'ala, we'll post a prayer, um, uh, you know, within seven days of the last one day of Safar and we'll remind each other. And that's one of the great benefits of the, the rule adab group, because even if someone like myself who is forgetful and distracted and uh, with worldly affairs, um, just by me being a part of the group, I'll be reminded of these things. And, and my brothers and sisters won't let me fail in forgetting these things, alhamdulillah. Uh, and this is a example of this, uh, of what um, our mother uh, Aisha Jeffrey CC is saying to us. Um, so we'll post this. So if you would like to be a part of the Ruhu Adab group, just email ruhuadab at gmail.com. No, I'm sorry. Email group at gmail.com. Again, group at gmail.com. group at gmail.com. Uh, you'll be a part of the group. And this, among other ma many great reminders and conversations and poetry and dhikr and companionship and reminders, all those things are, are there on a daily basis so much that I have I myself have trouble keeping up with them. May Allah bless you. Uh, I love you. May Allah love you. Um, please pray for me. And uh, I won't forget you in my prayers either. Inshallah. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.